Okay, I, you know what? I need to talk about this. And I, I first want to say, I think that black people talk about race so much on social media because now we have the opportunity to actually express our opinion to the masses where it can get to people who normally we don't talk to on a daily basis. And we get to... Um, we get to share our opinion and we get to listen to the opinions of others who may or may not share our opinions. And you just didn't have that ability before social media. The only time you would interact with people like that was at work or at school. Because a lot of us don't have, uh, are not friends with people who think differently. They just, we're just not. And it's, that's just the way it is. Now, with that being said, I want to get into um, I want to get into Black History. Since it's February, we know February as Black History Month. Why February was chosen, I don't know. I have to do the research, all that good stuff. But and I really don't even know how long it's been going on. You know, do they, did we have Black History Month in, in school when I was growing up? I, I can't remember that back that far, man. Oh, but I've been out of school so long, I don't know. But I do. I I'm not sure if it was Black History Month. I, I guess it was, but but the thing about it is, because I went to a mostly black school in elementary, I didn't see anything specific about. It the things that I was doing as far as, you know, learning about Harry Tubman, Book T. Washington, Frederick Douglass, stuff like that, Martin Luther King. It was just like, I thought, even as a young person, the reason why I was learning this is because I was in the black school. And, I, and I'm telling you, this is the reason. It wasn't that I thought everybody around the, the, the country was talking about black history. like. Like, like that or learning like that I don't even think I thought thought of it like that I know I felt that the reason why I was learning about it is because I was black and I was going to a black school and that, and that was pretty much it you know I mean we learned about you know George Washington and Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Edison and Thomas Jefferson you know th those are the basic white people that Abraham Lincoln those are the basic white people that you that you that you uh, were taught about uh, talk talk of or I guess that's what you, what you can say um, and that's because they were presidents and inventors and part of the constitution and, and then it wasn't until you know later on that you started learning about other people like Eli Whitney and uh uh, Alexander Graham Bell and you know and stuff and stuff like that. It's mostly on on uh, inventors and, and and stuff like that. So anyway, um, I say all that to say this: we have Black History Month in February because Black history just is not taught as a uh, as a curriculum. Unlike U.S. history, a world history uh, that talks ab about basically Caucasian people or, or people other than black. And if if black people, when I was growing up, now this is when I was growing. Up, when I was growing up, the only black people that was in the textbook were slaves. That's it. That is it. We, we might have talked about Frederick Douglass. He might have been in there. And only because they were talking about slavery. That's it. So the only time you saw anybody black, and you saw him, you might have saw Harry Tubman. Because what? Talking about slaves. Everything was around slavery, man. And this is this is what we. Okay, you might have seen uh, George Washington Carver. Man, I mean, he lucky that he he made that. Or he, he was, I guess you could say he was so inf influential that 
that he had to be mentioned. But you know, to be to be honest with you, I'm not sure if I even seen him in the U.S. history books. Maybe I saw it some something else. I don't know. But anyway, the reason why you you have Black History Month is because Black history is not taught in a regular curriculum along with Greek history. And you know, you're going to have Socrates and I think it was Plates and all these E's and T's and E's. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to be taught that. Um, the Roman Empire, you're going to, you're going to hear about Caesar. You're going to hear about all, um, the different uh, Roman, Roman rulers and things of that nature. You're going to hear about uh, Napoleon and, and the French Revolution. You're going to hear about um, the British Empire um, and how they conquered India and, uh, and, and, and Asia and um, and set up colonies in, in, in America. You mean, you know what I'm saying? So you're going you're to hear about that. You're going to hear about the Byzantine Empire, Tur Ottoman Empire and all this stuff. But what you won't hear about is Zulu Empire. You may or may not hear about it now. When I was growing up, I guarantee you, the first time I knew anything about a Zulu was when Shaka Zulu came on TV. And I was like, Shaka Zulu? What, what's this? And of course, I was interested in it because you, you, you didn't see black people on television, man. And they had a whole series, and I saw Roots. So I was like, yo, they got a series, another black series. Everybody was talking about that, man. And you had to see Shaka Zulu, man. Everybody was talking about that. Just like everybody was talking about Roots when it first came out. And I was little when it first came out. So they would, every year, they would they would play Roots in the series. And then eventually, I I was interested in it enough, old enough to, to be interested in it once they continued on playing it. And then, then, that's when I started learning about slavery that's when I really started learning seeing slavery uh, on, on on video on film you know portrayed in film um, Shaka Zulu was just the opposite though yeah. <laughs> and, and so that's why you know we really like that because it showed black people and I mean it still was a story and unfortunately it was uh, you know black people fighting each other but shoot, I mean, you, you you see white people fighting each other in different wars. I mean, on television, in series. I mean, Civil War. I forgot the name of that Civil War series they had on it. Um, Blue and Gray or something like that. And you always see in movies on World War One, World War Two. Man, most of the time you seeing white people fighting and killing other white people. So it it was normal and natural to see that. But until until they incorporate black history on an equal level, and what I mean by that is actually don't I don't think well I guess they should dedicate certain uh, chapters in the history book to not 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 black history but like African history like. They have Greek because you got to think about it, man. Like black history don't, didn't start when slaves came over to America, man. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta separate it. You gotta separate it. You gotta separate it. Black history, no, not black. I'm sorry. You gotta separate it's African history or African, right? You got to because you got Greek, you got Roman, which is which is kind of crazy if you really think about it, man. Because because those are like countries. I mean, even I mean the Greeks, they 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 separated themselves in a different. I don't know. What it's called tribes and countries. In Greece, you know, Spartans and all them. But but if you say African, then you're gonna have to break it down, like for real, man. Because you know how many countries in Africa, man. So you can't just say African history because then. Your African history will have to be like a whole book. 
you know, you got U.S. history as a whole book. Then you got world history. They break it up that they break it into, you know, they got Chinese and talking about the Ming Dynasty and all that stuff. But then, I mean, African history had to be broken in, into like a couple of chapters, man. You can't just have a chapter on African history. It's got to be a couple. You got to be on North African history, South Africa, because it's a big continent, right? Uh, unless, unless you break it down into the most uh, <coughs> excuse me, talked about or important. Um, places in Africa. I mean, if you think about European history, I mean, world history, and then you just bring bring in British, French. Maybe the Russian might talk about czars and all that stuff, communism, whatever. But it's it was way more. Um, it's way more countries in Europe other than just France and, and Great Britain, man. You got Spain, you got Portugal, you know, you got uh, Italy, you got Germany. Yeah, I mean, you had like Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, all that stuff, right? So, you know, with that being said, you, you I mean, you, you probably had to go to like Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Talk about them. Talk about Egypt, of course. Then yeah, talk about South Africa. But then you're gonna have to go into maybe uh, you know, Nigeria, the Congo. You know, you might even throw in Liberia. I mean, it's a whole bunch of stuff you can talk about. You know. So until you do that, you're gonna continue on having Black History Month. You're going, to, you're going to continue to have Black History Month until it's incorporated in textbooks. Hey, man, it's been going on for decades, man. Like, when are you ever going to incorporate this into regular history? I'm going to have to go, I don't know, I guess I had to look online, high school world history book and see what they say and see how much of Black History is in there. Okay, so finally... You had to separate the textbook in the African history, and then that, that'll be on the world. world that'd be world history, and then in the U.S. history, you definitely can't separate. You can't really separate Black history, and then have a section on Black history, and then U.S. history. You had to incorporate it all together. That's the only way people will actually that's the only way kids will recognize it as just history and not black history you know because then then you have to separate everything you know you go in u.s history and then you go talk about the chinese then you got to talk about uh, mexicans you know then you got to talk about uh when the Irish came up and you got to talk about when the germans no it's all in a mix so you can't just have a section on black history in U.S. history. It's got to be intermingled throughout the timeline. You just have to throw it in there. Even even if, you know, when you have inventors and, and, and <coughs> excuse me, Booker T. Washington and, and Frederick Douglass and Mary McLeod Bethune and Mary McLeod Bethune, and then don't just talk about education or don't just talk about race or slavery. You got to talk about inventions within that timeline. And you also have to talk about commerce and business within that timeline. You know, like black uh, entrepreneurs within that same timeline. You know, it might be a black entrepreneur and 1675 um, Eric Daughtery or something like that. Did such and such. Can't just, can't just break it down just by, you know, slavery, man. You got you to gotta, you gotta break it down in the timeline. That's all I got to say. 15 minutes. I just want to know what your opinion is. I couldn't say everything I want to say, but there you have it.